Cannon. It's your man Barry Bonds, hustle management every day, all day. Just want to sit with you for a minute, talk to you about something that's been on my heart lately that I really want to get across to you. And uh, today's subject is about the ignorance in hip-hop, okay? There's a lot of ignorance in hip-hop. Now, pretty much this hip-hop world has a lot of you young folks out there, teenagers, young adults, whatever you want to call it, really disillusioned right now. And to be honest with you, the disillusionment is really just getting to an all-time ignorant level, okay? Now, what I'm talking about here is just the industry has a way of patterning and helping us pattern our lifestyle as far as watching BET to learn how to dress, watching BET to learn how to talk. You know, it's the influx of a lot of you cats out there that are just right now learning how to rap just because you know this will come up. You know, and it's like, come on, man. You know, let's be honest here. Back in the 90s, we had a lot of artists who were just really, really true artists that breathed, eat, live, and shit at this whole thing that we call hip hop. You know, as well as even R&B. It was a lot of R&B cats that was, you know, really, really doing this because they had a song in their heart they wanted to get out. And a lot of you guys right now are kind of defiling the whole genre because you guys are coming out just because you want to get paid. Just because you see it as a, a way to, you know, come up quick. And that's like really just really making all this music that we listening to right now that's on the radio that's influencing the babies. Whack! So now, I just say that we need to really do something about this. Really. And what I'm saying is that, I mean, you got cats out here right now like Chief Keep that's out here wearing his pants down way below his belt. Okay? Way below his waist. Just showing everything, man. You know what? It's crazy. It's like a lot of kids out here see that and they want to be that. And you know what? It's just not cool. It's like, come on, man. We got to really, really, really step it up for our kids out here and let them know that, look, this is not the way to go. I mean, let's let's talk about disillusionment. Disillusionment pretty much is making you guys out here think that you guys are thugs. Okay, first of all, this whole thugging movement and whatnot, man. As my father told me, thugs turn into bums. I quote that. Thugs turn into bums. And that's really what it is. Okay? Now you can be a CTE thug and make, you know, a lot of money, this at the other, but you know what those guys, some of those guys have very little education and whatnot and don't know what to do with their money. They're going up in strip clubs throwing out tens and twenties and fifties of thousands, you know, of dollars and whatnot out here in these strip clubs when they could be doing something in the community or they could be starting businesses or giving opportunities to those around them to make this type of money as well instead of just throwing it to some random stripper that's out here clapping her ass trying to make a few dollars. Okay? Now, only stripper that I endorse is the one that's in school trying to make something of herself so she don't have to do that shit, you know, going forward. But a lot of you strippers out here, they just do it just because it's just a wretched lifestyle, all right? So I can't even mess with you at all. You get no money from me. In fact, I might be on the side of your little podium or whatever while you stripping, kind of skimming some of the money into my pocket for my next drink, all right? Don't judge me. Don't judge me. But with this being said, I just feel like we really need to get back and like really stop looking like clowns and fools out here. I look at YouTube every day and I'm looking at a lot of guys out here talking, you know, they out here talking, especially the ones from my city, Cincinnati, Ohio, you know what I'm saying? Light shout out, very light. But a lot of dudes from my city, man, they out here, they talking about, yeah, what's good? I got these Laguna jeans, I got this and that. Yo, man, like when you really, like say if I'm Donald Trump and I'm sitting back and I'm looking at this, Right, and I'm looking at these dudes, and they talking about, yeah, we got Donald, we got out here Laguna jeans, we out here, and we got, you know, we got this little piece right here, and we diamond up, we this and that the other. So it's like when you saying that, and say I, if I'm Donald Trump, I'm looking at this like, y'all ain't got shit. Y'all out here with peanuts. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here with millions, almost billions. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you guys really look stupid at the end of the day. At the end of the day. You guys are really looking really fucking dumb. You know what I'm saying? I really wish that some of you guys would look at this stuff and just kind of look back at yourself and say, man, what am I doing? Like, yo, I'm out here carrying all the money that I have in life in my pockets with me trying to show it. Trying to be out here, 
You know what I'm saying? You know the dudes that be at this corner stores and whatnot. They buy probably a mound and probably something to drink. Come up to like $2.80. And these cats want to pull out $1,000 just to count out $2.80. Like, really, man? That shit is corny. It's corny, B. Like, for real, man. I need to really get a grip on that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even the text language. Look at the text language. These kids out here texting. It's like they talking. It's like they speaking or whatever. They, they really look like idiots. They don't know how to spell. You can't conduct any business with them. When they spell something to you, you can't even read the shit. The shit looks like Yiddish. It looks like I'm reading Yiddish text language or something. You know? And I'm not trying to come down on you kids like that, but I'm just trying to tell you, like, look, there's a better way. There's a better way to be cool and be about this whole rap hip-hop industry without being dumb. Now, what they want you to do is they want you to be stupid so that you're not a threat to them making their money. Okay? No one wants to applaud. And we're the only race, which is really sad, we're the only race that will say something like, you know, a person that's out here, Johnny, let's take little Johnny. Johnny's out here going to school every day. He's getting his grades. He's got A's and B's. He's going to college. You know, he's trying to, you know, get to go to college and get his, his degree, his bachelor's degree, his master's degree, maybe even a doctorate. But y'all will call him Lane. Y'all will call little Johnny Lane. Why you got little Jethro out here who's on the block, you know what I'm saying, who don't want to do no work, thinks stupid is cool, and just want to just be out here with his shirt up and his pants hanging all the way down to his knees. But that's cool. That's thugging. That's hot. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Look at this picture, people. Look at this picture. It's not right. How are you going to even, like, even you artists out here, how are you going to even get into the industry and even say, hey, you know what? Let me conduct my business real quick. Let me make sure that my contract is not a contract where they're getting me for everything. How are you going to do that when your text language is, 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 is so broken up and so crazy? You're not even going to be able to read a contract. So that's what I'm telling you, artists out here. Even you cast this on the come up. Because you know what? There's two levels. It's, it's an artist. There's a real artist who would do this within not getting paid or what? Money's no object. They would do it if they never got paid off of it. And there's a dude on the come up who just wants to get paid. And that's the only thing that's in his eyesight. He's getting paid and getting checks. And you know what I'm saying? Spend all his money on cars and, and, and rings and watches and jewelry and houses and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, even you artists out here that are trying to get it popping, look, man, what you got to do is you got to be smart about it. There are a lot of books out here that you can read that will help you to learn about the business first so that you don't have to rely on anybody to come in and teach you. Learning is everything. You're never too old to learn. You don't know everything, okay? A lot of you cats out here, especially in my city, Cincinnati, you guys think you know everything about everything, but you don't. You know what I'm saying? You guys, some of you guys ain't even never been out of Cincinnati. Some of you guys ain't never even been to New York, LA, or Miami, or, or Atlanta. Well, you know, let me not say Atlanta because that's the number one pastime for cats in my city. You know what I'm saying? They like to go to Atlanta. Atlanta's like the, the mecca, you know what I'm saying, of cats from Cincinnati. You know what I mean? And I'm living in New York, by the way. I just want to let you know, let that, let that, let that be clear, okay? Because I got out, you know what I'm saying? Because I really want to make some shit happen and make things happen. So, you know what? I'm in New York. I just want to let you know that. But. But guys, it's just always going down in you know, other places. Look, there's other places in the world that you can go to. Go to these places. Move to these places. You know, little cities like Cincinnati and like Omaha, Nebraska, Louisville, Kentucky. These are not music cities. Okay? These cities, you know, probably turned out, you know, those that have done great in music. But right now, it's not a music city. So, you know, it's like really important that you guys venture out and try to you know, attain your goals in other places, but those in my city, it's just like, get out, see something else, you know, it's cool to be smart, it's cool to be intelligent, you know, it's cool to know something about something, to be an expert, you know, um, I mean, just the videos that I watch, man, it's just so disheartening, because it's like, it look, I look at it, and it's just like, man, you know, like, these guys, like, wow, we really are ass backwards out here, ass backwards as hell, so, I really want you guys to really look at this. You know, get get your knowledge up. Get your knowledge of the game up. If you're a true fan and you say you live and die for hip hop, know everything about the business. Know everything about the culture. If you don't, if you don't know the key players, you're not gonna even know. You could be standing right next to like Kevin Lowes or even um, uh, who else? Kevin Lowes or or somebody else that's very important in the music industry, and you not even know it. You know. 
I mean, producers, you could be standing next to, to uh, No ID, Salam Remy, or somebody and not even know who he is. That could be a big break and you just missed it. So, I say let's stop all the niggerdom, man. Let's stop all the thugging, all that little BS or whatever. Because for real, when you go into these business and these, these business meetings with these labels, you're not going in there with your pants hanging down to the ground. You're going in there to handle and talk business. And they may not even let you in the meetings while they're conducting business for you. Okay? If you're like that. So you guys got to really, really step the game up. Get a little bit more corporate, you know, in your approach. And, uh, and start making strides. Start making strides to try to uh, maximize your knowledge of the game. And once you do that, can't nobody put nothing over you. You'll know what the stipulations are, the reg you know, everything about what's going on in your business. Okay? Because his business over here may not be your business over there. You know? He may have a deal that's offering him a $250,000 advance, you know, and other perks. But you may have only a $100,000 advance and no perks. So know something about what they're offering you, okay? Get off this nigga bullshit, carrying all the money that you own in life in your pockets at one time. Get off all that, let me make it rain in the strip club. We are in a recession, people, okay? Jobs aren't plentiful out here. People aren't making money like they used to. The stock market is up and down. So you got to be smart out here, all right? Make sure that you start really sitting back and looking at things for what they really are. Quit looking at the hype. A lot of you guys look at the hype. Oh, I can't wait to make money so I can get this money and I can go buy all this ice and diamonds and cars and all that stuff. Shit that depreciates with value. Okay? Guns and butter, baby. <laughs> Alright? But this is just a little something I just wanted to, you know, talk to you people about. You know, it's probably going to be a part two to this as well. But I'm just now getting back into this video blogging. Alright? I'm still out here. My name is Barry Bonds. I represent Hustle Management. I'm an independent A&R consultant. Uh, as well as artist manager, I will check you out, holler at me, send me anything, beats, songs, whatever. Okay, I have some relationships that probably could help you out. Alright, I'm not a stingy dude, I'm not a shady dude or nothing like that. We can make something happen. Hit me up, my email address is H-U-S-T-L-E-M-G-M-T, hustle management at gmail.com. Send me all your beats, send me all your records, anything, alright? We might be able to get something popping. Until then, you guys, you have to learn to get out of this thug shit. Remember, thugs turn into bums, all right? Be a businessman. Be a smart, savvy businessman, okay? Don't let them throw the wool over your eyes. Be aware of what's going on. Know your surroundings, all right? Until the next time I talk to you guys, remember my motto, positive minds move forward, all right? It's Barry Bond signing out. I'll let you guys. God bless.